Kentuckiana is getting clowned. <laughs> Here comes another Ben Davis phone tap on 99.7 DJX. Trent says my sister Sarah is a manager for a costume shop, and I still can't believe she runs the place. Hmm. But anyway, I feel like you can come up with something about being offended by the costumes or something. Thanks, guys. Love the show. You know, it's funny uh, Trent should say that because Robert Hossenpepper is a little upset that uh, his sister is making money off of his culture. Oh, okay. Needs to call her about it. Welcome to your phone tap. Hello? This is Sarah. Hi, are you the manager? Uh, yes, I am. Good. I need to talk to you about cultural appropriation. Are you aware that your store is engaging in stealing elements of our culture for profit? I'm sorry. I'm not sure what we're talking about here. My name's Robert. I'm Robert the Warlock. A what? I'm a warlock. It's like a witch, but I'm a man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and why are you calling? Well, see, your store is appropriating the culture of witches and warlocks and using it as a gimmick for Halloween. I don't know if that's exactly what I... I visited your <laughs> store yesterday in disguise, of course. And I looked in your so-called scary costume section. All right, then. Uh, did did you find what you were looking for? Well, what I found, dear lady, was a warped version of the witch and warlock lifestyle that my coven and I have chosen. You have a coven. Does that surprise you, young Sarah? We're all around you. Witches, warlocks, conjurers, sorcerers. Um, I, I, I should get back to work. It's it's really a pretty busy time for us right now. Well, of course you're busy. Busy making a mockery of how I live my life. You claim to sell a costume to make someone look like a witch. Isn't that right? Sure. We have a bunch of witches' costumes and hats and stuff. Well, there's the problem, Sarah. Witches don't look like you portray them. I know many witches, and not one of them has a pointed black hat. Sure they do. Everybody knows what witches look like. No, they don't, Sarah. That's what I'm talking about. Do you (laughs) even know any witches? I don't know. I know some girls at school who act like witches. (laughs) You are making a mockery. I don't feel like you're taking my concerns seriously. I, I'm sorry. What What would you like for me to do? Well, I'd like for you to stop selling witch and warlock costumes that make real witches and warlocks look up, make us look silly. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sure nobody wants to offend you or your friends. Maybe you can come back in sometime and I'll show you the different kind of costumes we have. Maybe there's something closer to what you'd approve of. <laughs> I highly doubt it. I mean, there's a lot here. There's one called the Storybook Witch, the Wicked Witch. There's the the Sexy Witch, the oh, the Salem hey, hang, Witch. Hang on a second. What, what what was that one? The Salem Witch. No, 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 no. Before that, before that, the Sexy Witch. Yeah, um, that's really cute. It's got a vinyl bodysuit, some uh-huh. fingers, gloves, uh-huh. some boots. Uh huh. Okay, okay. That sounds a bit interesting. Could you put that one aside for me? <laughs> Robert the Warlock? (laughs) Okay, I I guess so. It's not offensive to you, not appropriating your witch culture? Well, you see, Sarah, it's research. I'm doing research for a radio show, and I need it for that. A radio show? (laughs) Sarah, (laughs) it's Ben Davis from 99.7 DJX, and we're calling you with a little phone tap. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> I, I knew it had to be something like that. You guys are so strict. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, your brother Trent, he put us up to it, said he really couldn't believe that you were in charge there. <gasps> he said that. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. I mean, you did great with this. Sure did. Oh, happy oh, Halloween. Thanks. I'll I'll set that sexy costume aside for you. <laughs> oh, oh, my. Okay. <laughs> now we're talking. Now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. Now we're talking. I might talking. need we're... to just try it on just to see on, how how well it fits and how much it shows skin. Just for research <laughs> for purposes. For research purposes only. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. That is your phone tap on 99.7 DJX.